Hi guys, I gotta film this as fast as I can. I got little Ty here because he is going to advocate for ethical treatment of animals, especially senior cats. Uh -huh. Ah, so what is this video about today? <laughs> it's about the ethical treatment of animals. Yes, I know. So this is Ty, he is a senior rescue and he was rescued from an abusive uh, situation. He does like to talk a lot, so it's part of his breed. So if you hear him meowing, he's fine. Don't worry, he's sitting here purring. Um, and if he's really uncomfortable, I will let him go. So I know this video is late, but honestly, I put it off for a reason because I don't want this to get swept under the rug. Not this subject, never, no, no. It is never an excuse, it, there is never a reason, never, ever, ever, any situation ever to abuse an animal, let alone a senior cat. When I heard what he did to her cat, I was so outraged. I don't even know what else to say. Um, and, I already have a very unfavorable opinion of Nadir. Now, I have a, <laughs> I have zero respect. Is I I don't even want to see his face. I don't want to hear his name. I don't want to see him in any videos. I don't want anything to do with someone who would abuse a defenseless animal. And she admit to it, and I know she's trying to walk it back because the blowback she's getting, and that is all she's trying to do, is walk it back. Because she received backlash. And you know she can't handle the backlash. And this is all her doing. She is the one who put it out there. She put it out there. No one else did. No one else did. You put it out there. You were the one who posted your private message. And if he didn't do it, then why did you text him that? Answer that question. So now he has not only abused you, he's abused your animals. Not only has he put out cigarettes allegedly on you and kicked your cat, God knows what else he's done. Now, answer me this. Oh, I know, he's so sweet, that's a good boy. Um, he's like gonna take a nap in my elbow. <laughs> I know, okay. You got it? Are you comfortable? It just doesn't seem comfortable. Um, Pete's doesn't want anything to do with him. Your chat doesn't want anything to do with him. Your family doesn't want anything to do with him. Do you see the correlation here? No? Okay, cool. So he, here's what I think. Here's what I think. I think you shouldn't have your animals if you're going to choose him over everything else. You want to be with him? That's fine. You go ahead and be with him. But someone should come and take your animals because you do not deserve to have animals be subjected to abuse. And that is all you're doing. Every time he comes over, he is a ticking time bomb and he might hurt your animals again. And that is not okay. That is not okay. The animal cannot speak. The animal cannot advocate. The animal cannot escape. The animal cannot call for help. That animal is your entire responsibility. And if something happens to it, it's on you. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot stand someone who would do something like that to an animal. They belong in jail. He belongs in jail for that. You do not hurt an innocent animal. Right? I know. Okay. So I'm going to let him get down because he wants to go explore. You want to sit down? I love my animals, but if they're not comfortable, they they come first. So he wanted to go, and I let him go. To reiterate, I chose... I put off making this video on purpose to say... I'm not letting it go. 
no one should let it go we should all keep at it on this one this is not okay this is not okay behavior i am absolutely thrilled that animal welfare went to her house and paid a visit though i am fully aware nothing will happen i truly firmly believe her family should intervene and at least get the cats out of there for their own safety this man is highly explosive he is very explosive he is a drug addict uh, she is in no condition to even fight for herself or anyone else. And so those cats should be removed from the home. Absolutely, 100%. Those cats cannot defend themselves against someone, against someone like him. And I beg her family to step in and at least take the cats. At least step in and take those cats before something really bad happens. He'll do it again, and he knows she'll cover for him. She will put him before anyone else, including her own cats. Do you remember how sacred her cats were not that long ago? Like, I thought her relationship with her animals was unhealthy at one point. And now, it's swung a completely different direction. So, <laughs> that's what I want to see happen on this situation. I will link the ASPCA down below um, for information. Uh, like I said, I advocate against the fair treatment of animals. Always, always animals are. We don't deserve animals. We do not deserve animals. I, I cannot imagine somebody treating Ty the way he was treated. And I ensure that he spends the rest of his days living in complete bliss and happiness because that's what he deserves. He's a senior cat. He does not need to worry or be in fear or be neglected. No. Mm -mm. So yeah, I would save all the animals if I could, but it is physically impossible. <laughs> so I do what I can. And I hope you all do the same. Also, I'd like to advocate for people to, if you're looking to adopt a cat, to please consider adopting a senior cat. There are so many of senior cats that get overlooked in shelters and they need good homes and they are incredible animals. And I know it seems hard to wanna part with an animal that's older, you know, because they're closer to dying. But trust me, the years you will give that animal will be so meaningful and no matter what happens, like I had a cat that we got as a kitten and five years later, that cat passed away. Nothing is guaranteed in life. So you might as well make their lives meaningful and let them pass knowing that they were loved. That's something I just want to put out there. If anything good can come from this is to visit your local shelter and to adopt a senior cat. And that's about all I can do. And I hate that. <laughs> I hate feeling powerless. My heart goes out to her cats. And I hope to God her par her family just takes them until she is stable enough to care for them herself because she is not stable enough to care for anything right now. She can't even take care of herself. And that's the truth. Not okay, not okay. You do not hurt an animal, never. And don't try to cover for him, that's worse. That is so much worse than anything else covering for him are you serious so all right i'm gonna go back to my sunday everyone have a great day enjoy your day enjoy your life go adopt a senior cat please 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 and that's all i love you take care